Hello, my YouTubers. Mod is here in the flesh. First, I want to thank my new friends, you subscribers. You have maybe reached over 100 subscribers. I'm glad you enjoy my channel as I enjoy building my models. There are many other genres I like to build besides ships. There are planes, armor, civil, real science, science fiction, and a few others. So please stay tuned. And I hope to look for your comments on any questions you have about my builds. So stay tuned and thanks a lot. Arigato con Kaimashira. Hello all, this is M. Modest again, doing another how-to video. This how-to video is going to talk about how to attach flags on a ship. As you can see on this mast that I have here, that I'm pointing to, I have this red and white flag flying horizontally right now in a very strong gust. But we're going to change that a little bit later. But let me show you how to attach flags onto your signal lines. So step one, you're going to need a sheet of decals like you normally would. Okay, and all you need to do is just cut out a little bit of the flag. You don't have to cut it down to the edge. Just cut them out and dip them into the water like you normally would. You're going to need some glue, preferably a glue stick. Nothing fancy, just a regular glue stick and down below a piece of aluminum foil. As you're cutting out the decal, I'm going to go ahead and attach a bit of the glue on here onto that aluminum foil. Now I have it on a base that's not going to be used up too much. It's actually the base of this ship. This ship right here is it's a JS Towika. It's an AOE, an oiler, an older oiler that I'm gonna attach some signal flags onto. So I have here one of my flags that I'm gonna attach. This is the uniform flag. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. And I already attached glue onto that aluminum foil. You're gonna get rid of some of the excess water from your brush and the decal itself. And you're gonna go ahead and attach that onto the decal onto the aluminum foil, just like that. Press down on it just a tad bit. So you don't want to damage the decal itself. Okay, once you've done that, then you're going to go ahead and cut it up with a piece of uh, that decal with these scissors here. Now I'm not sure what kind of scissors you have. These are threading scissors for sewing. Very helpful, very unique, but it's kind of tough for you to put your thumb through. So I like to actually use it between my middle finger and my index finger. It's a little cumbersome, but if you use these kind of scissors before, it's actually pretty decent. Once that decal is set on there, then you're going to cut it to the edge. So I'm going to go ahead and cut around the edge of that decal. Right at the edge there. Okay, so you're going to cut some of the film, but don't cut the decal itself. Now that glue there is actually sticking onto the aluminum foil and onto my fingers. Just like such. Now if you have some magnifying lenses, you could combine trim a little bit more. But this is a 1700 scale ship, so I don't think anybody's going to come by and look at it too, too toughly. I'm going to go ahead and set it down. OK, 
Okay, just on the base there. Not a big deal. So if you look here at the tip of my finger, I'm using my needle nose pliers here to give it a slight bend. You want to go ahead and get started on that little bend to wrap it around your signal flag lines. The next thing you're going to do is get a bit of crazy glue, just a small drop is all you need. Look at your references and attach that crazy glue onto that line. And again with your tweezers, and this is going to be the tricky part. Trying to just drop that signal flag. Straight onto the line. And it usually holds it down pretty well. Now you haven't closed it yet. We'll do that next, as soon as I get the other flag in. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna come by and close up those flags. Best as you can. You might swing around a bit, that's typical. Now, sometimes I've seen people adding glue to the ends. I normally don't because it just, it might make it a little bit messy. And there you go. Again, it does require a bit of practice. Again, as I mentioned to you before in my how-to videos, patience and practice. But once you get the technique down, Looking at your references, knowing which flags to put up. It'll give you a better looking model, I think. A lot more color than just a regular gray, black, or whites that you would see. So this is M Modest from Haymo Productions. Wishing you best of luck. Let me know how you think, how you're working. Uh, anything I can help you with, with put it on these signal flags. And make sure that you subscribe share and like. Thank you much. Have a good one.